for everybody who was listening, because okay. uh, we're we're changing the the, the, the Skype. Uh, backgrounds and now we're in a bunch of balloons or is that balls balloons they're, they're, they're balloons. balloons i was trying balloons. to find something that that's was just legit, more yeah. more festive for a in a award show i can i can put us in a theater oh that's cool. that's oh, like that's like that school fun yeah uh, but the balloon oh. we, we wanted to say thank you so much for downloading this episode i want to take a little bit to say how much we appreciate all of you who have downloaded movie guys podcast for the past eight years and we're looking forward to give you eight more awesome years. So, with that being said, tonight's episode is our award season night. You'll be listening to myself, Jordan, along with Eric and Sarah, as we go over the whole year of 2022. And we get to hear from you, the fans, as you vote for your favorite film, worst film, most disappointing film, and the list goes on. Eric, congratulations. Going on eight years, buddy. Movie Guys Podcast Awards. It's, it's award season, buddy. It's award season. How the hell are you doing? It is award season. I'm not as excited as I would be last year. It seems that all award seasons are just a declining trend now. But I'm excited for this one because I'm involved in it. And to make it even more exciting... <laughs> We brought in because it's so exciting. It 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 cannot be contained by two people. We brought in a third, so Sarah will help us. Oh, I'm so excited that I've now been part of Movie Guys for a quarter of its life. Quarter, yeah. A quarter of its life. Yeah. Um, I am honored to be here. Thank you for having me. I am honored that you're here. It's it's always <laughs> nice. It's always nice. Yes, this is our eighth annual Movie Guys podcast awards. Um, anybody who is listening, if you dare to go to the website movieguyspodcast.podbean.com and if you click on the uh categories tab you can click on movie guys podcast awards and you can listen to all eight episodes remember there's only one a year for the awards and boy boy has the show changed in the past eight years Whew. the first award show eric i don't know if you remember but you and ed and i were smoking stogies and drinking beer in my garage Oh, wow. I do remember recording it. I don't remember what we talked about, but that was like, bad. was it maybe the first time that we met up, actually? That was the first time that all three of us met in person, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was the first time that we met face-to-face. Yeah, that was a long time ago. And now look at us going on eight years. We have the results, and everybody got a chance to vote. Um, we got some interesting categories this year. Let's go over them, right? We have, of course, the film of the year. I have a little piece of paper here. Uh, worst <laughs> film of the year. <laughs> yep. a- and a podium, too, for those of you yes, who can't yeah. see it. Yeah, it's, yes, yes. it's official. Uh, best year of love series. Worst year of love movie series. Best streaming service. Worst streaming service. Best remake or reboot. Second look movie. And my favorite category, the most disappointing film of the year. I'm excited. Is there one that you're excited for more than than the other? I've always appreciated the second look category because I think it's um, some movies do deserve it. Mm-hmm. But I'm always anxious to hear what everybody, the fans and everybody else has to think about, like what their favorites were, how wrong we were. I want to see if Maverick is going to be... <laughs> 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 more probably right but before we get into everything with the categories i always like to break down our top 10 downloaded episodes of 2022 let's go with uh let's go with number 10 all the way to number one ready here we go this one was shocking we recorded this all the way back in february the top 10 number 10 most downloaded episode of the year was scream five we did that this year we did that in february Golly. with my brother my brother was on that show. R.I.P. <laughs> number nine. <laughs> number nine was Titanic. We did that back in April. All right, a classic. Yes, awesome. I do. I do remember Titanic. Number eight was Thor: Love and Thunder. Boy, uh, a mixed mm-hmm. movie, if there ever was one. And I loved it. Um, this one's no surprising for it being in the top 10, but the movie, we all know how I feel. Number seven was Halloween ends. Oh, most okay. downloaded. Episode Boy, did it ever. 
Uh, let's see here. That was number seven. Six, Eric, your nemesis. This comes back every year. The Lego Batman movie, number six, most downloaded episode of the year. What? I'm telling you, that thing is is locked in on a keyword algorithm somewhere, and a <laughs> bot is just, you I was going to say, did you guys review that this year? We reviewed that February 20th, 2017. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, some of these are obscured. Like, people just listen to the old school ones, right? I mean, right. why not? Either that or somebody has, I don't know, they they, they had, love that movie and don't like me enough to where they're just going to download it repeatedly <laughs> over, over and over again. It is, it I really is want, I, I need to download it just to hear your thoughts on it. Oh, oh, boy. Number five. This one's no shocker. Number five most downloaded episode of the year was The Matrix Resurrections. That was oh. our first movie back oh. of January. I re-reviewed it this time, 2022. Yeah, Sarah, you and I would love this one, Sarah, because Eric was bleh, with it, but but you and I had a good time. Number four most downloaded episode of the year was Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes. Yes. I was hoping it would be on this list. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, number three, my wife was kind of shocked on this one because, well, because of what it is, but I feel that it was ending a, a series. Number three, Dumbledore. Dumbledore was the most downloaded episode to their number three. Um, number two, number one are strange. Number two, Eric, this one's reeling its ugly, its ugly head again. The Haunting of Hill House is on number two. <laughs> okay, yeah. We, we recorded that November 1st of 2018. It's Dead May Never Die. Yep. And the number one most downloaded episode for the year? Couldn't believe this? Deadpool 2. Still. Everybody loves Deadpool too. I'm telling you, this I, is for this year. There's, I'm telling you, this year, this year, we got bots. But that's fine. They're all listeners. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. But I thought that was interesting. Um, also, the top four, I guess, streaming platforms for everybody. Number four was Spotify. Number three was Google Podcast. Number two was Amazon Music Podcast, and number one was Apple Podcast. Nice. Okay. So that is our year for top 10. Uh, you, Meeting Scream, f- uh, Scream 5 kind of shocked me on being the top 10 because I don't remember. I mean, Eric, you and I dogged that movie, but everybody I mean, loves it. Well, there's also, yeah, there is this weird trend, I think, of new uh, uh, new celeb that is going around. And it wasn't, uh, is it Jenny Ortega? Yeah, she's in it. Ortega. Ortega, she's in it. So that may have gotten some some pull with it too. It may be some uh, announcement of Scream Six, uh, and then is this streaming now as well? Stream, uh, Scream Five is streaming, yeah, or Scream, which there's two movies streaming called. Streaming is streaming, streaming on streaming, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the Movie Guys Awards. But if this is your first time listening to a Movie Guys Awards, this is how we do it. I read off the title of the category, and I give the nominees. And then I ask Eric and Sarah their opinions on who should win said category. After both have given their opinions, I will reveal the winner of the fans voted. We make it clear every single year. We do not vote. This is all you. We do not have a say. We want to hear what you have to say. So, everybody clear in the rules. Let's go with it, right? Let's go with something fun. Best Year of Love series movie. That'll be our first one, all right? The nominees are... I got paper here. The reason why I have paper, so you guys know, is because I've had a printer that's been on the fritz for six months, and I finally figured out if you press two buttons, then it will connect to the Wi-Fi, so... Now I, now I have paper. Um, anyway, best word, best year of love series. The nominees are Love Actually, True Romance, Fifty Shades of Grey, My Best Friend's Wedding, Titanic, The Notebook, Ten Things I Hate About You, Dirty Dancing, Fatal Attraction, uh, When Harry Met Sally, and Ghost. Sarah, ladies first. Who wins best year of love series? 10 things I hate about you. Do you want to give a reason why? Because it's a great movie. Uh, Because I will say it again. I quote this movie frequently uh, in our home. Um, We went for a walk the other day and I can't remember what Eric said, but I proceeded to 
quote, the uh, I know you can be overwhelmed and you can be underwhelmed, but can you ever just be whelmed? Uh, it's it is just a, a silly movie. It is a cult classic. I thoroughly enjoy this movie every time I see it. I know it's dumb. I don't care. I love yeah. it. You know, I re reviewed that back in the middle of summer, and I'm still wondering what the mother is. Nobody talks about it. Eric. It doesn't I, matter. I know. That's why I pissed you off. Eric, who wins best year of love series? The things that keep you up at night, Jordan. I would think yeah. Titanic. Probably plain and simple. Thing. It's. I was thinking about it, and it it was a hard question to think, because I think this was from one of the movie forums that I frequent. And the scope question was, what is, what would you consider a great movie or the greatest movie or um, things to be considered for a movie to be great? And I agreed with Jordan after he made the case that Titanic does seem to have a bit of everything. It is the epic tale. Uh, and some people want to highlight other parts more than others, but it seems to just have everything. I would also say that maybe Forrest Gump probably has kind of the same oh. thing. Yeah. Um, and there are a few other movies I don't know that if we really put pencil to paper, we could probably come up with a few more, but just off the top the of my Princess head. Princess Bride. Something like that. See, a, and a lovely tale, right? It, it's got a bit of everything. It's oh, just like Columbo said at the at the start of it. It's okay. got swords, it's got love, fairy tales, magic. It's not a kissing what? book, is it? <laughs> well, as you guys so, that's can why, That's why I say Titanic. As you guys can see here, I'm going to show you a little bit here. Uh, this thing got voted everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Oh, yeah. That's a... So, at a lot of the, winner, the winner with 27.8%, right, uh, was Titanic. Woo! Titanic. Yay. Number number two uh, was the Notebook at twenty two point two. Ten things was third. See, it's up there. People up love again. that movie. It's up there. It's up there. All right, let's go over. Look, okay, let's. So, so that was the fun one. So let's go to some ones that people don't really care about, but I'm kind of curious what people think. Eric, for science, what is the worst streaming service according to our fans? Peacock, Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix, Apple Plus, Peacock, Hulu, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, HBO Max. Oh wow, it's on there. Yeah, <laughs> Peacock. 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 You're gonna say Peacock? Uh, it's a dude. And me being a wrestling guy, like it, it freezes. And then, yes. like, you know what's, you know what's really bad too about Peacock when I watch wrestling? Nothing makes you more mad than watching a classic match from the '90s, or early 2000s. And in the middle of a Stone Cold Stunner, it goes to a commercial. And it's like, what's, <laughs> what's, what's and it, 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 it's not like a 15 second commercial. It even has like the, like 180, you know, like 180 like mm -hmm. seconds. And I'm like, oh my God, boring. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, I agree. Peacock is bad. Sarah, what do you say? What's I also worst? agree. Uh, I, we have Peacock basically just to watch the, the, bravo show below deck <laughs> and i hate the app it is always freezing mm -hmm. uh it's always buffering mm -hmm. it just and then the quality of like all of the content I, I we literally use it for one thing um there's just there's not enough on it yeah i think next year i'm going to take it off and maybe put on uh paramount plus i should have put paramount plus on this year but it wasn't nothing back in the day mm -hmm. Um, this one kind of shocked me. Peacock was number two, though. Oh. Peacock was number, um, uh, Peacock had 21.4% of the votes. It was tied uh, with Apple Plus. Uh, hmm. Apple Plus is one. But the number one most worst streaming service, according to everybody, uh, at 35.7%, was Amazon Prime. Sure. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. There's nothing on it, really. Exactly. Well, yeah. they, it's one of the few apps, too, that, that – Seem to charge for damn near everything, mm -hmm. right? It used to, I yeah. would say. Like it, you, yeah, yeah. Everything else, it's it's just okay. I I I paid to view this, so everything that I'm viewing is for free. Prime mm -hmm. is like okay, you paid to have access to these things for free. Now, if you want this other stuff, you have to pay us, and also you're just renting it. So if you want to watch it again, you have to pay for it again, mm -hmm. and it it just seems like such a I don't know. Weird business model. 
Well, I don't like like my aunt. Uh, she doesn't know a lot about technology, but she was uh, skimming through Prime recently this summer, and uh, she was telling me about this. Um, there was this uh, show. It was like it was like a six or an eight part series, like a limited series. There was no season, just six or seven episodes. And it was like murder mystery, right? It was a murder mystery she watched on Prime. The first episode was free. But if you wanted to watch the other ones, mm, pay yeah. fourteen ninety nine. Where they get you? I'm just like, man, whatever. Yeah, it's that's silly. Uh, it's it, it's borderline insulting if it isn't already. Yeah, I know, right? All right, let's go with the next one. So, worst streaming service is done and best year is done. Let's go. Let's change it up again. Let's go for the best remake or reboot that is a new category this year the reason why is because well there were some movies that were coming out that were remakes or reboots and we kind of want to know what everybody thought i have my choice but we'll see so the nominees for best remake or reboot are prey the predator reboot scream 5 the batman or chip and dale rescue rangers Ooh. sarah what is your opinion of the best remake or reboot of 2022? Uh, so I did actually see all of these for the most part. I picked uh, the Batman. Oh. Um, of the other ones, I have a feeling I know what Eric's answer is going to be. Um, but of the other ones, like I didn't really have a tie to any of the other Predator movies. Um, so Prey was just a, another movie for me. Um, I loved Chip and Dale as a kid. I did not care for that movie. Um, <laughs> and Scream, I'm just tired of seeing those movies. So it was it was a little bit of um, uh, the what am I what am I trying to say? Um, our pets. Yeah. It was not our pets. It was no. our pets. It was not. It was Colin I, I was actually. I was actually very anti Robert Pattinson as Batman because he's got the whole emo, like, let me put on some more eye makeup kind of thing. Right, sure. Um, mm -hmm. But of all of the options, that one was the least bad <laughs> of the remakes. So that's why I picked that one. Wow. Okay. I'm surprised on that one. Eric, how about you? Pray, Scream 5, The Batman. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers for best remake oh, or reboot. I, for the most part, enjoyed all the movies uh, to a certain extent. Uh, oh man, I I probably want to say the Batman as well too. Although Prey was pretty good, and I liked I liked Prey. I, I think that that added a lot to the story. Whereas the Batman is a start of something new in that universe. So. Maybe I'll say Prey then. Okay, and say I that, it, that it's a true uh, sequel and reboot, kind of fitting into the both. Right. Yeah. Um. I totally agree with you. This is the first year we've ever done this category. We've never done this before. Uh, there's one category a year that kind of switches. Remember that one year, Eric, like four years ago, where we did best superhero because we had like eight movies that we reviewed that were superhero that year. Yeah, there was like, a lot. Just so this time we've ever done this. Um. I I actually agree with you, Eric. Uh. Prey. But unfortunately, the fans do not. Again, I got to see this again, man, because everybody's digging on this with 38.9% of the vote. Scream five. It's just dumb. Like, I don't I don't get I, I think new comedy now is that like a, a lot of it is cringy and uh, a lot of it is absurd and a very, very alternative. I, 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 I feel like an old folk saying that I just don't understand it because. It doesn't seem to be much structure. It just seems to be kind of uh, out of the reaction, you know? Yeah. I was surprised. I mean, well, at, at second place, what well, was Prey with 33.3%. But, it, it, I mean, I, I should – Prey was great. But Scream 5, man, I, I got to watch this again because I will admit that the teaser trailer for Scream 6 got me got me pretty excited. When he was <laughs> – have you seen it? Yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to yeah, you see are, it either. <laughs> you know what? So here <laughs> – Actually, um, here's a challenge. Actually, sure. so I'm I'm assuming that we're just gonna go ahead and see Cream, Scream Six, right? That's yeah, we have to gonna put that on the schedule. Like, so I'm not even going to watch the trailer. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go in completely cold. 
I mean freezing Arctic cold. I'm not even going to watch a trailer. And I'm going right. to go in that fresh to this movie, I think. And, you know, and I'm going to tell you how I feel after that. Just to, just to see if it gives me any sort of benefit. Do you know where the setting is? I'll at least tell you that. Do you know where the setting is? Earth, United States. First time ever moving out of Woodsboro. It is in New York City. Well, see, already spoilers are coming. Yeah, I know. All Thanks, right, let's go Jordan. to the next one. You're welcome. Let's go to the next one. We got uh, we got some more here. Worst Year of Love series. Let's go to the worst one. Worst Year of Love. The nominees are Love Actually, True Romance, Fifty Shades of Grey, Best Friend's Wedding, Titanic, The Notebook, Ten Things I Hate About You, Dirty Dancing, Fatal Attraction, and uh, Harry Met Sally and Ghost. Uh, Eric, let's go with you. What is the worst oh, year of love series that we reviewed this year? Uh, that's a toughie. Um, love actually was bad, right? Like love actually was bad. love actually was bad, right? Yeah, it was. It was bad. Sarah says no. I, I can't. No. I can't stop thinking about it just because they're the commercials are just have it so well on parody uh, and they play it over and over again i i that movie's so i can't yeah I, i'm gonna say that one that one's the worst yeah i, I, know, uh, I know i know 50 shades is on there i'm i'm very aware 50 shades is on there um it got more sequels than love actually right well so, sequels that we've seen uh, that you've I, seen. Oh, that, you have. I know, but I'm just yeah. saying. Look, I mean, like, uh, I actually, I, I, I agree with you, Eric. That I think Love Actually should be there. Fifty Shades is pretty bad. Um, but the one that I was pissed about was Fatal Attraction, right? I mean, like that that will piss me off. Did you guys see that Joshua Jackson's playing Michael Douglas in the show this year coming out? I'm sorry, what? what? So they're doing a Fatal Attraction. Oh. So look it up. They're doing a Fatal Attraction show. I don't know if it's what streaming service is on. <laughs> Joshua Jackson, Pacey himself of Dawson's Creek, is Michael Douglas. Oh, and, we'll, we'll look to the internet, Sarah goes. Oh, I'm digging and, into this real quick. <laughs> and and the girl, if you guys remember Mean Girls, it was the gothic girl uh, friend of uh, whatever her name is, Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. Yeah, she's playing the crazy Glenn Close was character. Was it Collins or something like that? Is that... Uh, she was in Hot Tub Time Machine. So, yeah. While well, you guys are looking it up, yeah. Yeah, so they are, they are remaking it as a TV show. Going to be coming out this year. That's a different person. Lizzie it's... Kaplan is yeah. not... She was. Oh, never mind. Yes, yes, yes. She is. Don't, don't you dare. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I was thinking of somebody else. Yeah, yeah, man. She's playing Glenn Close, man. Okay, I could see that. Yeah, and I mean, it's Joshua Jackson. Chances are, I'm gonna watch this. Yeah, of course you are. Eric's gonna watch it too. I know he is. It's Joshua Jackson, guys. Yeah, Pacey, man. Eric. Uh, okay, while Eric's looking up, Sarah, what is the worst year of love series? Movie. Fifty Shades of Grey. It's horrible. Of, I mean, like, is is it more worse than True Romance? Because you hated True Romance. I did hate True Romance, um, but no, Fifty Shades of Grey uh, is my my absolute worst uh, for the the year of love. Do you know this is probably going to be pretty hard this time next year when we do our nostalgia extravaganza best and worst, right? I was thinking about that recently. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be bad. Well, uh, according to the fans in a landslide, Fifty Shades of Grey is the worst film in the Year of Love series. Yes. Yeah, that's fair. I can't argue that at all. But it was also one of our top downloaded. So what does that say? Well, people like listen to us dog on movies, oh, right? Of course. Of course. All right, here we go. Is it we... The ha Hamlet Two effect. Yes. <laughs> few more left. Let's go into one of the lower categories before we get into the big ones here. Best streaming service. Peacock, Apple Plus, HBO Max, Disney Plus, Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu. Sarah, what is the best streaming service? Oh, I don't like these categories. Um, I guess I'll go with <laughs> the one that I, I probably spent the most time on this year, which would be Disney Plus. Uh, I did a background rewatch of all of the Disney movies, starting with Snow White and working it the way 
or working my way up chronologically. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I also did a rewatch of all of the Marvel movies in the same mm -hmm. way in chronological order. Mm -hmm. um, and so I spent a lot of time on Disney Plus this year. Why don't you like the categories? Um, I just don't have a I don't have a strong opinion on them. Well, of course, not, but but nope, it's but it. it's to fill it's to fill it right. We don't want to have an award show with just four categories. And season later, that's a ten minute episode, right? Well, Jordan, we can talk offline about other categories. This would uh -oh. be usually where the commercial break is for the uh, Oscars yeah. for best yeah. technical yeah. Uh, audio uh, executive uh, in a movie, right? So she says Disney Plus. Eric, what do you say? Um, this is, by the way, if you remember, let's see how much you know you movie guys podcast history. This is the second year in a row winner. I would think. Oh well, I, I it won this category last year and it won it this year. Is it Netflix? I mean, you can't. I mean, I, I would vote Netflix. Although I did like Disney Plus as well too. It seems like. Those two apps seem to be the most changed, or at least the most improved. HBO still has got to pick it up. Like, like, damn HBO! Like, really? You, you know, it's you were late to the game, and all, and you're still this far behind. Um, and I'm not even going to talk about uh, Apple TV or, or, or Severance. I think um, they or uh, Apple TV or uh, uh, Peacock. They think they they played more of an online game uh, rather than an app game, but. That's what I would think is is maybe Netflix is the most popular. You know, I'm surprised that Hulu doesn't get any love, but the winner ads. two years in a row. Ad, well, I don't get any ads. Um, is HBO Max? People dig it. Hmm. I mean, think about it now. You dog on it, but remember last year was it the twenty? It was twenty one when uh, the year uh, the year uh, COVID, the year after COVID, and they released all of their movie streaming. Remember that? that was I you. I enjoy the options they have on HBO. I really do. Like I like the IPs that they always have had. I like the movies that they've had. I, I always love HBO documentaries. I, I will defend those to, to as probably the best filmmaking uh, that we get to see. But that app is not good, and they have not done anything that I've seen to improve on it. It, it it's seems slow. like they've almost made it worse, actually. Uh, yeah, it, it it is. It's just slow. It's so slow. I, if we were speaking to the app itself, that's what, where my vote yeah. came in. But all right, here's the last four categories. Our second look movie, Eric. This is your category. This is your baby. And what a second look movie is a movie that we did not give a good review for. These are movies that we gave small bags to. And everybody else seems to be against us. So maybe these movies are, deserve a second look, right? Maybe we'll see. So the nominees for a second look movie, Don't Look Up. We reviewed that in January. Remember that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Top Gun Maverick. There it is. Bodies, bodies, bodies. <laughs> and... Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Huh. Eric, in your opinion, what movie deserves a second look? Uh, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You gotta pick. All, all these movies are like <laughs> movies that we've given a small bag to. Yeah. I, oh man, I'm not a fan of any of those. What was the first and last one again? Don't look up and Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Golly. Which which one deserves a second look? You know, Doctor Strange wasn't that bad. You know, I, Gene and I watched it for a second time. You know, we did a second look, and it was it was quite enjoyable. I I enjoyed the special oh, effects. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I would do Doctor Strange just because after the release of all these movies, there also seems to be post director leaks. And one such for Doctor Strange was the love story that was cut out of the of the whole movie of, of Wong Wong's love story. Mm -hmm. Oh, Wong deserves a love love story. Yeah, he and does. so he does. seeing or hearing about that, I, I going into that movie to see that a little bit more, and then 
hearing about uh, knowing the next threat of of who it is and seeing the, the different universes, uh, seeing if maybe you could catch something more now. And yeah, I'm only saying that because again, those other three, uh, I don't need a second look. I'm I am very good on the first look of those movies. I don't think <laughs> I really don't think they're go- they're going to stand the test of time. All right, Sarah, in your opinion, who, uh, what movie deserves a second look? Don't Look Up, Top Gun Maverick, Bodies, 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 or Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness? Uh, so I obviously didn't give my review of these movies, um, but my, my, what I picked uh, was Don't Look Up. I actually enjoyed that one, um, even though I know a lot of people didn't. So I'd give it another chance. I'd watch it again. Uh, yeah. I enjoyed it. Well, I well, I enjoyed Doctor Strange. Bodies, bodies, bodies will be forgotten. But Eric, I mean, are you ready to just to just quit podcasting because you know who won? Yes, I know who won. Fifty-two point six percent of the vote goes to Top Gun Maverick. Ugh. This is a movie that Eric and I don't get. I don't get no, it. No, you know, I, I, I do. At least I think I do. It, it's. It's a it's a thrill ride, right? Like it's an enjoyable experience. I and I mm-hmm. get the 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 pornography that it is. I I really do. That story is trash. That's, like really, I I I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. <laughs> I think I don't think that movie was marketed to us, and I think that's part of why we don't get it. We expect more out of a sequel. Uh, and this movie was marketed towards our parents' generation. Yeah, I think yeah. my dad went and saw it and loved it. Yeah. yeah but we was, didn't. No, um, it, yeah. Like, I mean, Eric said, you know, it was not a good movie. The storyline was bad. The only saving grace of that movie was the scenes at the end, the flying, the stunts. That was really cool. And that was really cool to see in theaters. Mm-hmm. Um, the rest of the movie, didn't need to see it. Didn't need yeah. the love story. Didn't need the buddy buddy no we're good i don't know why they just don't go on and just you know stop with the gay peekaboo and just say this is a gay film don't look at me weird don't look at me weird tell me the uh, stuff no that's no right i there. mean no looking at you would be like it would, would be how rooster was looking at maverick right exactly exactly all right well yeah maverick won that one we know this it's just eh, i was upset just, uh, just but anyway no, I'm not going to bitch about the movie. I'm going to go off on a. I'm going to go off on a tangent. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, guys. Uh, my favorite category uh, of the year. Man, we got to get a favorite category for Sarah next year. Um, my favorite category is the most disappointing film of the year. Right. This is a movie where you had hype with it, like you were excited to see what they were going to do. Right. It could be a reboot or just a fresh movie. And you're like, oh my god, I'm excited. This could be really good. And then it turned out to be extremely disappointing. All these movies got either a small or a no bag from us. And the nominees are, Eric, remember this one, Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. Oof. It was disappointing. I was, I was excited to see what they were going to do with it. Halloween Ends. Oh. Uncharted. Dumbledore. <laughs> The Gray Man. Okay. Or the Tom Hanks Pinocchio. Sarah, in your opinion, which one is the most disappointing film of the year? I don't think I was looking forward to any of these movies. Uh, I have never seen any Resident Evil Evil movie except for Welcome to Raccoon City, unfortunately. Uh, I also, I've only seen, I think, the first Dumbledore movie and not the second one. So I was very confused about the third. Um, what else here? Uh, Halloween ends, eh, whatever. Um, so I was torn between The Gray Man and Pinocchio. I like a good Disney movie. I'm not a big fan of the remakes, but I did not care for that one at all. Um, and then The Gray Man, I think was, was okay-ish. Um, I had some issues with with some of the plot points of like he gets stabbed in the the hand with a knife and then five minutes later is fighting with that hand no yeah. problem like come on hollywood do better with your your injuries um so it, it's it's a tie for me gray man or uh, pinocchio we got a memorable yeah, for- quote out of gray man though 
Oh, dang it. What is it? What is Let's it? Let's see how this move Fs. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yeah. My disappointing ones was uh, was Resident Evil and, and also Halloween Ends. Eric, you remember my whole review with Halloween Ends. I, I lost my mind. Everybody, <laughs> if you want to listen to Jordan lose his mind on air, go ahead and look up the Halloween Ends one. Um, but the reason why I was kind of hyped and disappointed about Resident Evil was because I'm a Resident Evil game fan, right? And the first movie was was pretty okay. It was not great, but it was okay. And then the sequels just got worse and worse that it was on. So when they initially had James Wan attached to it and they were going to stay true to the games, they were going to combine one and two as into one movie, I was excited for it, right? I mean, they were, they were showing some of the special behind-the-scenes stuff, and I was like, oh, this is going to be fun, right? And I was extremely disappointed. Eric, in your opinion, what is the most disappointing film of the year? Probably Matrix for sure. It's not nominated. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna just throw it in there. Like there. That was a lot of hype, and it should have been a lot more. Uh, no, I I uh, could say uh, any one of those. I guess Halloween for me. I, I was hoping that uh, with something like Halloween ends, that it would uh, go with the. A bit more of a memorable shebang, like a bit more of a, a blood or a you know a slasher fest. But instead, it you know we got these guys buddying up and and doing a tag team uh, kill thing uh, that didn't even last that long. And no, oh, yeah. yeah, it was. I I was hoping for something a bit more gruesome, and it was a letdown. And that ending just kept on getting worse. It really didn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> And then, yeah. the, and then the whole town got involved. Uh, it was just weird. A few endings leave you with a raised eyebrow, you know. Maybe this and that, the, you know, I don't know, Perfume, if you remember that one with Dustin Hoffman. Uh, that, <laughs> that ending happened there when was just like, well, I don't know how to explain this one. I don't, I don't know. I I'm gonna take it. Right. I'm gonna take this back to Mammoth Video and say I don't know what what this was, but you Mammoth should, Video. But you shouldn't be <laughs> selling this here. You gotta return this. You gotta take it off the shelf. I am very happy uh, with with, with the fans this on this with one. My mom, I gotta take take it out, take it off. Because I, I was very happy with this one. Uh, with seventy three point seven percent of the the total vote uh, of this category, Halloween ends is the most disappointing film of the year, right? I mean, how do you how do you end Halloween Kills with half the town dead and major characters and Lori's daughter dying and just completely forget about it. And let's have Corey be a killer. Like just, what are you doing? Just disappointing. Getting a paycheck. Oh, that was terrible. I could not remember the, the plot of that story, but you saying that all coming back to me and that was awful. They yeah, wanted to watch the bad. world burn. Mm -hmm. They did. Well, they, they certainly did. Our last two categories for worst film of the year and best film of the year. This one, this one may be fun for you guys. Anyway, worst film of the year nominees are The Matrix Resurrections. That one right there. The Kingsman, the World War I Kingsman movie. Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Okay. Morbius, the Jared Leto <laughs> vampire film. Eric, you remember this one? I think you and I said halfway through the review, why did we watch this? The Tom Hanks Finch, Finch. Oh man, yeah, the that's robot, right. yeah. Ooh. Finch, Finch, and Eric's favorite, Jurassic World Dominion. Oh man, Eric, what is the worst film of the year? Oh man. Oh, Oof. I mean, Oof. Matrix was real <laughs> bad, like, Ooh, like real disappointingly so. But Jurassic, Jurassic World Dominion. Whatever that thing is called, locust. Yeah, that one was a th just. A, I'm gonna say that one just because I, I obviously have a personal grudge. Selling dinosaurs on the black market. <laughs> Congratulations on the success of Morbius becoming uh, internet legend, um, becoming so bad that has achieved Hamlet two status. Is is is, is Morbius two getting internet? St is is it getting internet love right now? Where it has become. The uh, where it's so bad it's good. Mm. The troll two. Okay. And so I should say troll two instead yeah. of Hamlet two. Okay. All right. Fine. But, but the premise is probably Hamlet two. But hey, go ahead. Sarah, in your opinion, what is the worst film of the year? Do you want me to read the categories? You good? No, I got it. Uh, okay. For me, it was Matrix Resurrections. That, was that movie was so bad. I 
I don't even remember if I finished it because it was so bad. I like a good dinosaur movie. I know Jurassic World. Jurassic World. Uh, that whole series is really, really bad. Um, but I still love a dinosaur. Uh, Matrix has no redeeming feature at all. So for me, worst film of this year was The Matrix Resurrections. Well, with 40% of the vote, Morbius wins. Worst <laughs> film of the year. <laughs> uh, oh, that was a bad movie, too. <laughs> uh, Jurassic, uh, Jurassic World is in second place with 35%, and in third place at 15% is The Matrix, Matrix Resurrections. The Kingsman and Finch were not voted on. Yeah, that's oh. when, when you have movies like that sharing, uh, you know, the category with those movies. Yeah. It's quite clear. Well, the funny thing is that uh, we I, I, I try to change things up a little bit here for people, and these movies were – these were our no bags, by the way. I mean, like, th that's what these were. These were our no bags. So that's kind of why I decided to give that, uh, give that a go. Um, before we get into the big reveal at the end – I don't know if I can. Can I do this? Hopefully, I got it. <laughs> I was going to surprise you guys, uh, but then I decided to log off the internet. Oh well, screw it. What I was what I was planning on doing was to show you guys how many bags of popcorn you guys have given, and what and what have you. See if I have it. You guys still there? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We're still, still here. Still here. Just okay. patiently Nobody, waiting for you. Nobody's talking. All right. Well, well I don't have dual. You, you have us on, on. Uh, yeah, exactly. On the edge of our seats, waiting for the yeah. uh, best movie. Well, yes, I'm stalling for a reason. Um, here we go. And what is it? Okay. What ooh, is ooh, it? Ooh, I'm ooh. talking. Oh, well, Eric. Eric. Yes. Eric. Here, okay, you ready? Check this out. We have given 90 popcorn reviews this uh, pop popcorn bags this year. 90. We've given out Eric, 90 bags of popcorn? 90 bags of popcorn. Eric, you have given four. No bags. I have given four. Sarah, you've given none. Wow. No, that's because I'm a kind person and I don't review all the movies. <laughs> that is a total of eight no bags this year. Small bags. Eric, you have given 16. I have given 16. Sarah, you have given two with a total of 34 small bags this year. Okay. Well, then. medium medium bags. Eric, you have given twelve. I have given nine. Sarah has given four, with a total of twenty-five medium bags this year. Okay, good, okay. solid number, I think. Large bags, Eric. You've only given seven. Uh, hard to come by. Hard to impress Eric here. <laughs> I've I've given twelve. <laughs> <laughs> it's much easier to impress Jordan. Yeah, Sarah, you have given four with 23. So, according to 2022, the 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 size popcorn, if you will, that is the most popular was the small bag of popcorn. Ooh, that's rough. Yes, yes. And we also had a new popcorn rating this year with a bag of kernels that was given by me for Halloween ends. <laughs> All right, film of the year. I don't know. I'm torn on this one here. But here, here's the results here. Film of the year. Thor, Love and Thunder. Mm -hmm. Now, before I go on, I'm sorry I should have said this. These are movies that Eric and I or Sarah, if one of them are nominated, that was given a large bag to. These are our opinion large bag movies. Anyway, Thor, Love and Thunder. Eric, bring back this gem. Being the Ricardos. Okay. If you remember that one. We I both do. keep that at large. It was, it was fun. It was good. Not, maybe not Sp fun. Spider-Man No Way Home. Okay. Ghostbusters Afterlife. The Power of the Dog. And The Batman. Sarah. Some, some really nice pauses in there, Jordan. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> trying to. Make it cool. <laughs> Sarah, in your opinion, what is the film of the year? This is another one that I debated 
between as I was looking at all of the categories trying to decide. Uh, I really enjoyed Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, I think before we saw that one, we went back and re-watched all of the Tom Holland Spider-Mans because I had never seen them. Um, and I thought they were fantastic. He is now my new, he was probably already my favorite Spider-Man, but he is, it's fantastic. Um, and I loved the way that all the Spider-Man men, Spider-Man were in it. Um, so maybe I'm talking myself into it. I was going to do Power of the Dog, but I think I'm going to go with Spider-Man instead. Yeah, I mean, actually, my yeah. favorite would have to be Power of the Dog, right? Like, that came out of nowhere. I, I was so grumpy. Was going so to, good. I mean, like, I we we, we, we were going to put on the schedule. We had to review it, and I turned it on Netflix, and my hands were folded, right? I was like, what am I going to want? And it just grew legs, and it became really, really good. And I think it's legitimately, like, like a good film. Like, mm-hmm. I really enjoy it. Eric, comes down to you, big guy. What I, is the film of the year? I agree with both of you. Like it's it's tough. Those were both my I because I had a good time with both. I, mm-hmm. I, I really did. Um, and it's it's tough to to pick a winner. Oh man. Think about our fans, though. Think about what they've done to us this year. If they pick Scream Five over Prey, well, our, our fans probably probably would pick Spider Man, but I I would personally probably probably pick Power of the Dog. It was just. Just well acted. I I do like the the Spider Man movies, but uh, again, that one does feel like a bit more of like a thrill ride and and uh, a movie experience. Whereas Power of the Dog is a general like a storytelling and, and a compelling story with with a lot of development in in human drawn emotion there too. Whereas Sp- Spider Man has them fighting uh, Sandman. One is a movie, one is a film. There we go. That's yes. the difference. Also, All right, well, well, actually, wait a minute. I will say that uh, Spider-Man does have Academy Award winning actors in it. Mm-hmm. It does. It does, too, More than right? Power of the Dog, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. With 66.7% of the vote... The winner for 2022 Movie Guys Podcast Awards Film of the Year is The Batman. Really? No. Oh. 66.7%. Spider-Man No Way Home was in second place with 19%. And Thor Love and Thunder came in at 9.5%. Wow. Well, all right then, yeah. Congratulations the ba- I mean, the Batman to the was Batman. Batman. Right. Hey, the Batman was a good movie, Eric. You and I, you and I dug that one. It was long, but it was really good. We enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm not disagreeing with the fans here. It was it was enjoyable, and I'm, of course, I, we are all excited for the second part, the second and third parts of the Batman. They're not gonna they're not gonna do it that. Let's be honest. They're you don't think so? You that... don't think James Gunn is uh, gonna keep it going? Probably not. Hey, that's it. Another one in the books. That's Yay. it for the year. We did it. Movie Guys Podcast Awards. Oh, my God. That was fun. You have a closing for... song? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, yes, I do. Um, tell me lies. Tell me sweetly. <laughs> tell me lies. Tell me sweetly. No. No, that's fine. You uh, should get that as a sample and then loop it. Use to um, play us out and fade. Yeah, that that'd be a good one. Uh, uh, even for her. Oh. Nope, end the show. End of, end of the show. Hey guys, thank you so much uh, for listening uh, to this most recent episode of Movie Guys podcast. We really appreciate it. Thank you for another year. Uh, we appreciate everybody participating. Really do. Thank you. It was cool to see what you guys had to say, and I'm going to check out Screen 5 again because of you guys. So I'm going to see what that's, that's all about. Uh, like always, check us out at movieguyspodcast.podbean.com. Uh, download our episodes wherever you get your podcast from. Uh, Sarah and Eric, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, and everybody, for voting. Thanks. Thank you, and we'll be back next week for another awesome episode. Have a good night.